Today we're breaking out the testing kits. We gotta see if these bars are pure. Welcome back to Hive Mind Unlimited. Now we spit our fair share of bars on this show, and often my DMs are full of people sending me their ideas for bars, often in the style that I deliver them on the show. So DJ Grant asked our Patreon to send in their best one-liners. He's collected those, and we're gonna rank them on a scale of one to 10. I'm like Simon Cowell, and you're Paul Abdul. Love it, sweetie. I love it. You are so talented, sweetie. Not for me, chump. Is that what Simon Cowell's like? Not at all. He's British and does not smoke a cigar on American Idol. I don't know. This shit kind of blows. <laughs> All right, as always, Patreon, Cameo, and our merch is linked in the description. Let's get into these bars. Bar number one. From Gingy, I've been beefing with this rapper from Finland. When my disc drops, this dude finish. Because he's Finnish. He's already Finnish. Why is your disc going to make them the nationality of the country they already live in? We're really missing something here. <laughs> uh -huh. You're not making him Finnish. He was already Finnish. If you said you were beefing with this rapper from the Nordic countries, when my disc drop, this dude be Finnish. That's all right, I guess. I think it would really have to be that the rapper that you're beefing with is getting a 23 in me. He doesn't know where he's from. Oh, and yeah. when he gets the results back, he <laughs> He is of mostly Finnish descent. Mm. Like dissed a rapper and sent him a twenty his twenty three and me results, which said that he is from Finland. Turn out he finished. Turns out this dude is Finnish. Yeah, that would be much better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hate to do this right off the bat. Do it. I'm gonna give it a two. Yeah, I was gonna say a two is about as high as I'll go here. Yeah. What saves it from being a one and completely hot dog dog water is like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think what's saving it for me is your name being Gingy. Right. Right. Which right. is just objectively funny. Yeah, and is the nickname for the gingerbread man from the Shrek movies, correct? Gingy. Buttons! Gumdrop! Buttons! Jeez, that was scary. <laughs> You're scaring a lot of people. I'm not scaring anybody. Oh yeah, they're fucking freaked out. Lord Farquaad! Ah. I'm gonna pay my bill, you wanna get to the next bar? This one from Gecker. Nice, okay. We love Gecker. Went out to my car, she stole my catalytic converter. We got beef with bad juju, call it a Rothless burger. Okay, I don't really get the setup. I think that's just the rhyme. Uh huh. Went out to my car, she stole my catalytic converter. Mm -hmm. A common thing, especially yeah. in Detroit. We're all used to that feeling. Happened to me. <laughs> that's a bummer. My shit's straight pipe now, which is illegal, but there's no converter to steal. People steal the converters, they saw it off, and then they sell it for, it's the silver in it? Uh, something, there's another precious metal in there's there. There's some precious metal in there, you can get some money off, you know, it's an easy thing to steal. Mm -hmm. People do it all the time. We got beef with bad juju, call it a Rothless burger. Juju Smith Schuster, slot right wide receiver, formerly for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Yes. Played under Ben Roethlisberger as his quarterback, famously made TikToks, garnered a lot of controversy for that, but very, very good receiver. And juju being a term for kind of the vibe, right? Yeah, or like um bad juju. It's like a like almost like a curse. Yeah, like yeah. you got bad juju. Like I got I got bad. a bad vibe from that guy. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And then Roethlisberger, a terrible man. Yes, a big stinky hunk. And I don't mean it like a sexy hunk, like a hunk of flesh. Yeah. Like he doesn't even look like a person. Yeah, and has done bad things in his life and mm -hmm. then also plays for the Steelers. Yeah, and the refs won him a Super Bowl. I like this one a lot. I'm kind of just thinking about the second line being the one to judge. Right. And also the beef burger. Right, exactly. Beef and Roethlis burger. Like there's yeah. a lot of things you can tie together. I think this is really good, good wordplay. I'm giving it a seven. And for football reference alone, I'm gonna bump it to an eight. This one's from Christian the Loser. Okay. Get a t-shirt with me on it. That's a goatee. You know what? It's simple, but it's pretty Pretty fire. Yeah, I think if this was wrapped in a song, yeah. I would like it a lot. But since there's no tie to the goat teeth, like there's nothing about. <laughs> yeah, there's no facial hair around. Maybe if we saw a picture, maybe Christian the Loser does have a goatee already. Maybe. If he does have a goatee and it's a picture of him with a goatee on the shirt, then it's like a double entendre. But for yeah. now, it's just a single entendre. Mm -hmm. I'm also a little puzzled by like a lot of times people say like put him on a t-shirt. That means they're dead. Yeah. And so this is like, get me on a t-shirt. Kill me. That's a goat tee. I think that's kind of, it is kind of testing. Yeah, come kind on. Of testing the other side. Put me on a t-shirt. Yeah, put me on a t-shirt. See if you can. It's a goat tee then. I'm gonna give it a five. I fuck with goats the long way, so I'm gonna go six. Turns out maybe you're the Paula Abdul and I'm kind of the Simon Cowell so far. Oh, I can do Paula Abdul. Are you ready? Yeah. She got like four cigarettes, right? In my day, we didn't have nothing but SpaghettiOs and we'd play Twister till the sun came up. But now, everybody wants to sing and dance and act. I'm like, baby, stick to one thing you're good at. 
Shut the fuck up. <laughs> that was Paul Abdul. Uh, yeah, I, I, I see she that. The, she had the four cigarettes. That's how she acts on the show. You know, I actually did a sit-up competition against one of the judges from American Idol. Oh, shut up. Yeah, I challenged Paula to an Abdul. <laughs> <laughs> Next one, from Aiden. Slide with the blade, slice the ops like sashimi. Got your bitch working magic on my balls like Fushigi. Ah, I mean, we're impartial to Fushigi on this side. Yeah, if, if, if you saw our random things bracket, you know how we feel about Fushigis. Fushigi. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't know what a Fushigi is, I saw a lot of people saying that, just Google it real quick. Yeah, you watch. Pause, pause the video, Google it. Pretty awesome, right? Yeah, it's sick, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so slide with the blade, slice the ops like sashimi. That one is kind of a filler bar. Yeah. I feel like I've heard that before. And this is really just a setup to be able to rhyme your second line, which is much better, in mm -hmm. my opinion, which is, got your bitch working magic on my balls like fushigi. Yeah. That is good because there is something magical about the fushigi, which is a ball as well. Yes. And I kind of imagine, you know, Using their words, yeah, a bitch, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. a bitch yeah. doing this, yeah, sure, to the balls, you know, yeah. that would be kind of. I've never experienced something like that. Never even, Not close. even close. No. no way. I think if you just said playing with my ball, that'd be funnier too, because it's giving us a little insight into your life as someone who's had a testicle removed. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> Yeah. And because the fushigi in itself, uh, yeah, never really see. If someone's playing with two fushigi balls, that's like. What the fuck? Like, that is blow your mind. Like, I've never seen that. Ever. I think, I would like to believe here that if Aiden did only have one testicle, mm -hmm. that they would like to relate to the audience. So they would suspend their own reality uh -huh. in order to relate to more people and say, I got two balls just like the rest of you. Really? Yeah. That's kind of sad. Society puts such pressure on people just to be like everyone else, don't you think? I mean, no, I make plenty of jokes that imply that, you know, falsehoods, like that I can eat a certain, um, <laughs> certain food or drink beer or have a girlfriend. Like, I'll I'll just say whatever is real. Yeah. It's for the joke. I will suspend reality for that joke mm -hmm. to get that across. And so I would like to believe that Aiden did that regardless of the fact that they have one testicle. Okay. I love fushigi and I love sashimi. So this is like a seven? Yeah, I'm going to go seven on it as well. I like I think it. This is, this is on par with the Gekker one. Slide with the blade. Slice the ops like sashimi. Got your bitch working magic on my balls like fushigi. I'm not. Next one from Jamie BSN. She's sweet to my ears like skull candy. Ah. Yeah, this one, this one fails to connect. Yeah. There's a lot of things you can do with skull candy. Yeah, skull candy, the old headphone brand. They didn't make great headphones. They had a great aesthetic though. Great aesthetic. It was like hardcore, Easy but also cute. It kind of was like very, you know, of the times now. Easy to steal and kind of like middle of the road. Everyone could afford skull candy. Yeah. So that doesn't make her that sweet, I guess. Yeah, I would stop thinking about the brand so much. Yeah. I think here it's about the wordplay and some missed opportunities like uh -huh. skull candy like getting head from a sweet girl call that skull candy mm. you know it's not great but I'm no. just working with what I what the what ingredients are here right yeah, yeah. now you know but it's just sweet to my ears like she is her yeah. voice is like so there's got to be something here it's like a one I think this is a one I feel bad Jamie I oh bad. see I don't I'm excited to give the bad rankings out yeah I mean I'm sure Jamie BSN is not putting all their eggs into the basket of rapping at least I hope not I like to assume that everybody here is, a is trying fan. to be a famous rapper <laughs> yeah well, we all kind of are on the inside, <laughs> aren't we? Isn't everybody? Yeah. It's like hoop dreams, you know? I didn't know you had hoop dreams. Absolutely. I, I was the only one. I'm just like, you're at SeaWorld, and you hold the ball out, and you have to jump through the hoop, and you just can't make it. What? I'm saying like a, a, dreams of being a basketball player someday, like an NBA basketball team. Right, right, right. Yeah. You don't have that dream, though? The SeaWorld one, where you're a dolphin? No. Oh, okay, good. Yeah it's, yeah, it's just you, I guess. I mean, but you have that dream about getting those big earrings. Oh, hoop dream. You're doing a... Oh, I, 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 get what you're, I get what you're... Yeah, no, I don't... Uh -uh. I'm talking about literally like kind of having a pipe dream fantasy of uh -huh. somehow playing in the NBA someday. Your recurring dreams, whatever you got going on up there, that's nothing to do with me. Well, they're night terrors. It's not even good sleep. I know. I wake up and I'm pissed. I can tell. You text me all throughout the night. Like every two hours, you text me something. Back in SeaWorld again. Yeah, see, I never knew what that meant until yeah. now, but I guess whatever. All right, all right, next one. My money grew. Now I'm eating filet minion. <laughs> okay, now this is what we play this game for. <laughs> yeah, this is Cowardess who sent this one in. I thought you were saying it was coward ass. <laughs> no. <laughs> and no. to do a minions bar in this, you know, climate is coward ass. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Be brave. Yeah, do something courageous. <laughs> yeah, this, um, I don't know. I feel like I'm just jaded from being on Twitter. Yeah. I'm just, I've seen stuff like this so many times. Like, first time I saw it, I'm like,
like, okay, sure. <laughs> Filet mignon, mignon, you know, it's, there's something, it's there. It's, it's just obvious. I've just heard it too many times. It's really going to bring down the score for me. Here's the part I like about it. The filet mignon, although it is an easy combo with the minion name, mm -hmm. is also a small cut of meat. And the minions are tiny in stature. Am I not correct? Yes, you may be familiar with the image that's going around the internet of a cut up minion into little slices of beef. Jeez, no. Yeah, that's a very popular image and it literally says filet minion. Um, oh, yeah, okay. You know what I mean? So this is kind of grafted. Yeah. You might not even be the first one to say it. Oh, not even close. This is stolen valor, if anything. Yeah. <sighs> it's not stolen valor. Yeah, stolen valor, yeah. Oh my God. I'm afraid so. I mean, can we call the cops on them? <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I, I don't want to get the police involved. Oh, okay. It seems just like a whole, it's a headache. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a headache. God, I want steak now, bro. Steak is good. I kind of want to give this like a non-score. A non-score? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, to me, I just feel like if it's not your original thought, then what can I really rank it on, you know? I'm going to assume that they thought of it. They're the original? Mm -hmm. Okay, and you're going to give them a? Four. I'm going to give it a three then. You know, if I have to give it a score, I'm going to give it a three just for being unoriginal. Okay. All right, we got from Owen, better call Saul because I got accused of man slaughter. My nine go pop pop like it's Mike Ehrmantraut's granddaughter. There's a barrier of entry here. I have never seen Better Call Saul and don't know any of this shit. Nine go pop pop. I'm guessing here that Mike Ehrmantraut's granddaughter in the show calls him pop pop. That's a common thing. Got it. You know, like in Always Sunny, they call it like pop pop. pop, pop. pop. Yeah, they say pop pop. That's what I call my grandfather. <laughs> Is Saul like a lawyer in the show? Yes. Bob Odenkirk. Bob Odenkirk. Yes, he is a lawyer. He's a lawyer in the show. So better call Saul because I got accused of manslaughter. Mm -hmm. So he's a lawyer. A shysty one. And my nine go pop pop like it's Mike Ehrmantraut's granddaughter. Is Mike Ehrmantraut also in that show? I haven't seen it either, but I know he's in Breaking Bad. So he's part of that same universe. Mm -hmm. So it is, it's all very thematic. It's contained. Mm -hmm. I like it. I've never seen the show. I had to piece that all together. Yeah. But if I had seen better call Saul, I think this one rings up. Off. Yeah. And it all rhymes. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to give this an eight. I think this is a banger. Owen, Owen, Owen. I better call Saul because I got accused of manslaughter. My nine go pop, pop. Like it's Mike Ehrman Trout's granddaughter. <laughs> all right. What are you giving this one? Eight. Eight. Okay. This is the highest scoring one so far. Owen. The O. Now we got, I don't get paid in cash anymore. Call that a paper cut. But you're implying that you still get paid. My work pays me in cash and I got demoted. Yeah. Call that a paper cut. Because mm -hmm. then your money's going down. Yes. But yeah, it's, it's missing something here. It is it's missing, missing something. something, you know? Maybe like you're a hand model and you can't do it anymore because you have, you're wounded and you're losing money because you make money off your beautiful, flawless hands. Yes. And now that they're flawed, you could, that's a double entendre there because it's a paper cut. You have a wound that is halting you from accessing said bands. I love that. The wounded hand model. Yes. Who gets paid in cash, by the way. Now they got <laughs> yeah. a paper cut. Yeah. Yeah. There's a, that's, that's brilliant and perfect. <laughs> there's, nothing, that's a 10. there's nothing wrong with that. That's a 10. Yeah, Kate, I think you're missed opportunities here. I'm yeah. going to give this a, a solid three. Tons of flaws here. Yeah, lots of problems with this one. And <laughs> I don't like it. I'm giving it a one. A lot of errors there. You know anywhere in town that serves pencils? Serves pencils? Yeah. Like, what do you mean, serves pencils? I order them, and they bring me the pencils. Straightforward. Like, I mean it as I'm saying it. Are you saying, like, a place that serves just pencils or an addish addition? No, like, it's on the menu. It's on. <laughs> pencils are on the menu. Appetizers. Potato skins. Wing share plate. Artichoke dip. Number two pencil. Beer battered onion rings. You know? Do you know anywhere in town that serves pencils? No, I don't, because I've never heard of a restaurant serving pencils. Where do I get pencils then? Staples, the Office Depot, like a place that sells other school supplies. No, you're just naming non-restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I I think you are misunderstanding a small part of this. I don't want to go and just buy my own pencils, dirty up my kitchen, have to do the dishes later. I want someone to prepare them and serve them to me. I want served pencils. I guess. I don't know. I don't have much of an answer for you. I'm sorry. You don't know anywhere? No. Call yourself an artist. <laughs> Yeah, good luck with getting pencils at a restaurant. Okay. I guess. I'll give it to you for free. <laughs> They're not going to make you pay for pencils. Next one comes from Dizzle. Chocolate got backwards pronouns. I'm talking her, she. 
That's, that's kind of good. That's good. That's this is fire. I'm honestly getting a little jaded on the pronoun bars part of Twitter. Like there's a lot of them that are coming out right now. And well, let all, me in. They're good. They're, fill me in. Yeah. Let me read you some from my likes. Okay. My shooter's non-binary. They never miss. Okay. Like that. Got it. And then non-binary, but I fuck her like I missed her. 50K or one night at the clan with Peter Griffin. <laughs> it's like stuff like that. All right. So it's like a whole genre. Yeah. It's a genre. Yeah. You know, it's just kind of playing on the pronouns. Right, right, right. I'm not 100% sure that this one's original, that this person came up with this one. But if they did, it's great. Yes. It is waiting for an avalanche of retweets. Yeah. Got to get this one on Twitter. Yeah. This is a nine for me. Yeah. This is a nine for me as well. Thanks, Dizzle. Dizzle, you're in the lead. All right. Next one from Big Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> Benadryl in Baghdad got me spooked seeing spiders and shit. Call that arachnophobia. You know, it's good. It's not bad. I don't like the idea of like playing with phobia and, you know, a country we've been at war with in the past. Yeah. Like yeah. that feels like a territory that is just like, ah, I don't want to go there. And not, no, not that I don't want to go to Iraq. <laughs> I would go to Iraq. Yeah, I, would, yeah. I would go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, more, it's, it's, it's not that yeah. it's not safe or anything. But. Yeah. It's also Iraq, by the way. That's how, that's how it's said. Okay. Iraq. But uh, yeah, you don't want to go there with the jokes. Metaphorically. Met yeah. yeah, you don't want to go, you don't want to cross a line. Yes. And not a line like a border to the no, country. No, no, I would fine. Go like, um, this is really solid wordplay, though. Yeah, if you, I don't think this means anything bad. It feels like it should. It could. But it doesn't. And honestly, music is supposed to be kind of dangerous and courageous. And so <laughs> to walk those lines and like, you know, ooh, is it? Oh. And then to do that successfully, come out the other side unscathed. Pretty good. And uh, if you don't understand this parts of this joke, by the way, uh, when you take enough Benadryl, <laughs> you start to see spiders everywhere. Yep. And after you start seeing spiders everywhere, if you continue down that Benadryl rabbit hole, then you will see the hat man. Mm -hmm. You have visions when you take enough Benadryl. It's a deliriant, I think. Yeah, and please don't do that, by the way. It's, no, not, it, it's not good for you at all. No, and they're not like positive hallucinations either. There's a big difference between like psychedelics and a delirium. Like it's yeah. intentionally anxious, like cycles in your head that produce things that are trying to scare the subconscious. You it's know? literally trying to manifest fear. Yeah, That's exactly. That's like the whole thing yeah. is what that it's trying to do. So the reason everybody sees the hat man is because we've all been fed images of like Freddy Krueger yeah. and shit like that. It's like that we're trying to think about what could be the scariest thing. And a lot of people are scared of spiders and a lot of people are scared of villains from horror movies, <laughs> yeah. I guess. And me, I'm not scared of anything. And so when I take Benadryl, I don't see, I don't really see much. See, I'm scared of someone like tying a chain between the ends of two baseball bats and kind of using them like a giant nunchuck. <laughs> and, but they're plenty big enough to handle it. And it's mm. like... <laughs> So your Benadryl vision is kind of like a karate Jose Canseco? Whoa, yeah, <laughs> Jesus. So I'm gonna give this a, I'm between a seven and an eight. I'm a seven. I was kind of between six and seven, but I'll bump it up. Let's go with seven for this one. Next one from Ewan, practicing video games in Berlin. Guess I'm honing Minecraft. You know? I'm rocking with this one. Just the one German word here is my, <laughs> yeah. and then craft. Yeah. I'm honing Minecraft. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it, it is a video game, so. They have video games over there? <laughs> I'm sure they do, yeah. When I was there, everybody was just fucked up and dancing. Yeah, you hung out at like Bergain and shit like that. Yeah, I mean, I think this one's good. This is like another seven for me. It doesn't go into that eight, nine territory. Mm -hmm. And I think it's better than a six. I can appreciate anybody who's bilingual in rap too. Even if it is just one word. Yeah. <laughs> you know? It's Third like when word. I go to a Mexican restaurant and I say gracias. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Hola, this table good? <laughs> <laughs> no, just cuatro of us. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Lo siento about the bathroom. <laughs> no, I really <laughs> <laughs> really had to go. <laughs> By the time you end, right? No? <laughs> this one's a five for me. So you got a five and a seven. Yeah. Real quick, I learned this yesterday. Mm -hmm. Do you know what the generation after Generation Z is called? Hmm. No. Generation Alpha. Oh, no, I have heard that. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Just with the connotations of now, like how sure. much it's being used. Mm. Yeah. It's such a weird thing to think like, this is Generation Alpha. Yeah, but I think they're just starting to use Greek alphabet, and that is the A. Oh. So is like they're going to be next? Yes. <laughs> yeah, so Generation Beta is going to yeah. be right after that. Oh, that is going to create such a good joke culture. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I can't wait for that. Yeah, I think it's intentional, too, honestly. People are starting to see the levity. Yeah, there's levity in that, yeah. for sure. Like, I'm Gen Z. 
but like my humor is more like Generation Alpha. You yeah. Know? I really identify with people who were born in 2010 or later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those are like most of my homies, honestly. Are Generation weird. Alpha. <laughs> it's super weird. Why? I don't want to get into this with you. Many no. of my friends were born after 808s and Heartbreak came out. Ah, <sighs> see, dude, that seems That's so fine. fucked up. Like, what do you guys even talk about? Discord. Discord talk. Yeah, we talk about Discord. We talk about Sneeko. I think what you're doing is terrible, honestly. We talk about Paw Patrol. Like, tons of shit. There's tons <laughs> of shit we got going on. You know, what do you and I talk about? Politics, architecture, poetry. I mean, it's just as stupid. Jazz. Yeah. Literature, yeah. you know? It's the same thing. It's like <laughs> I'm talking to them about, like, cool cartoons we saw, coloring books. How much school sucks. Yeah, school's terrible. Ugh. We can all relate to that. Bikes. Just stop. Scooters. Stop. Bouncy houses. Oh, God. Shit dude. like that. It's whatever, man. I mean, it's it's fine. I'm just saying. I'm kind of like, I just kind of rock with Gen Alpha. You know? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Next we got, I keep my crap in order like I'm shitting alphabetically. <laughs> By Nick's. I don't like that. I don't know. I don't even know that what the joke is here. It's I don't kind think it's of a like, joke. Yeah. I think you're just flexing on your organizational skills. Yeah, but it just means nothing to shit alphabetically. <laughs> yeah, it does. Like, so is this like alphabet soup sort of situation? <clears throat> like, like, like you're shitting out a different letter in order? Like, <laughs> like, what do you mean to shit alphabetically? And also, nobody says, I'm keeping... <laughs> How you doing? Nah, I'm keeping my crap in order, you know? <laughs> like, you might say I'm keeping my shit in order. Like, ah, you know, I'm getting my shit in order. That's, like, normal to say, but you switched the wrong words. I think it should have been I keep my shit in order like I'm crapping alphabetically. Yes, <laughs> see, that's funny. Crap is funny if you're talking about poop. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think crapping alphabetically alone would have gotten a giggle out of me. <laughs> I think overall, this one makes zero sense, and yeah. I'm, I'm going to give it a one. You're going one on it? Yeah. I'll give it a three. I am always here for a poop joke. All right, this is our last one. We're definitely going to do this again. Send your bars to DJ Grant on Patreon. There's a Patreon-only Discord communication line with DJ Grant where these bars were submitted. Get your bars up. We're going to keep doing this. This is a fun time. I like doing it. Thank you to everybody who <laughs> yes. submitted one. L last one from High Roller. Record Recording Stay With Me On My Galaxy. Call that Samsung. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you stay with me? So like you're witnessing the song being sang? Is that like what's going on? No, they're recording Stay With Me. They're singing it. They're doing like a cover. They, they're singing it mm -hmm. on their Galaxy phone, which is a Samsung product. And Understood. Sam sung the original song, Stay With Me. <laughs> Which Sam Smith actually had to give up most of the royalties to Tom Petty. True. Because it sounded like Won't Back Down by Tom Petty. That song's gas. That song's so good. Hey, hey baby. baby. There ain't no easy way out. R.I.P. Tom Petty. Um, this bar is really good though. I think this is a nice one. I think it's a good eight. Yeah, to me it's an eight as well. This is like some something I almost would tweet. Yeah. And it still has a little bit of that tinge of like, it's not fully supposed to be good. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to kind of be bad. Like it's such a stretch. It's a new genre. Yeah. Where you can kind of mix like wordplay that's supposed to be bad and wordplay that's kind of clever mm -hmm. into the same thing. And I like that sort of shit. Yeah. It's not going to appeal to everyone everybody though because no. like you know like yesterday I had multiple people ask me if my tweet was supposed to be bad like friends of mine texted me I was like was that tweet supposed to be bad it was like Cocteau twins heaven or Las Vegas question mark my gambling addicted ass um I think I'll go with Vegas <laughs> you know it's That's like good. yeah but it's like supposed to be bad it's like you're playing a dumbass <laughs> it's like a 50% anti-joke yeah by the way though they have tons of slot machines in heaven Really? Yeah. When I died for a few hours in 2014, uh -huh. I went up there and yeah, slot machines in the waiting room and everything. Oh, that's cool, man. I did not know that. I mean, all the pictures I had seen, like I had a, a brochure. Just clouds. Yeah, I had a brochure. Yeah, they're just for clouds. It was like mostly clouds yeah. and like people in gowns <laughs> and Golden shit. tables. Like, yeah, and, and like yeah. harps and shit. And yeah. I was like, you know, I mean, I, I like a good harp every once in a while, right. but I didn't see any guitars up there. But you know what else you didn't see in those pictures? That should have been a big hint. What? Clocks. Just like in the casinos in Vegas. There's no clocks. Oh. Oh, you're right. Yeah, they want you to lose track of time. And up there, the sun's always up anyway. They keep it bright, no clocks. They play that harp real loud in your ears and they give you drink after drink, you know? Can you smoke in there too? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's cool. what the clouds are. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, see, yeah. You're yeah. sitting on Kush smoke. <laughs> yeah. The brochure designer needs to include that next time for guys like me. You know? Well, they don't want to lure you up there because then you behave poorly on the earthly realm. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. So it'd feel hypocritical yeah. to be judging everybody, like who can come up here right. if the people up there are smoking cigs and gambling and yeah. fucking hoes and shit like that. Yeah. And then <laughs> if you saw that, then you might do be inspired to do that down here to yeah. be like, well, if the angels are doing it. And then, this know. realm's for like pain, suffering, hard work, dead end marriages, pain in the ass kids, student t- debt, lawn chores, right. like, shit like that. So like yeah. you're supposed to go through those trials and tribulations here to get to the ultimate tailgate in the sky. <laughs> I love that sort of shit, yeah. man. That's awesome. That's why I keep my faith. All right. Well, the winning bar comes from Dizzle. The only nine of the day, we got the Hershey bar, mm-hmm. which adds another layer to it. Now that I'm thinking about it. It's a Hershey bar. That's what that's wow. what Dizzle wrote. Yeah. This is kind of crazy. So that's the winner of the first Ranking Your Bars video. We're definitely doing it again. Yeah. A lot of you have a lot of work to do. So get that pen in the notebook. Work think. Now you kind of know where our bias lies. Uh Uh-huh. You can cater to our tastes. And please do. (laughs) Please do. Bring me the pencils. All right. uh, Make sure you like the video. Subscribe. All the stuff I did not say at the beginning. Patreon, Cameo, all that stuff. But, Graydon, would you like to leave one of people? If If people exhaust you, stay your ass inside. All right. This has been High Mind Unlimited. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, mom. Mama. Mommy. Give me another donut, Randy. (laughs) Bola, you want to go to dinner later? Have you seen American Idol at all? Bola, come on. Let's go out to dinner. I know a good place. I just don't know how you've been led to believe that you could get pencils (laughs) at a restaurant. You've obviously never been to Red Robin. Bottomless pencils on Mondays. Bottomless pencils? I'm pretty sure they just had bottomless fries. They have pencils. A lot of wolves in there, Riley. More than a pack. (laughs) 